Welcome to the Cary Technical Institute video training series. This program will review the DOORS 32 DOORS for Windows software basic installation and configuration. For proper installation and configuration of the software, please view the modules in the order listed. This will ensure that the information needed for programming will have been created and is available. Modules 1 through 9 will guide you through the installation of the software onto the host PC and configuring the hardware and operating parameters for proper programming and operation. Modules 10 through 16 review additional features used for basic system operation, communication between the host PC and controller network, and manual control of the doors, inputs, and outputs. The presentation consists of 16 modules. This is module one of 16, DOORS 32 software installation. Please refer to the Cary Systems website technical documentation section for the operating system compatibility table and installation instructions in a Windows 7 operating system. Please note that DOORS for Windows software is not compatible with any server operating system. The Cary CD-ROM includes folders with these types of files. The files you will be using mostly are DOORS software, LAN installer software, the Cary technical documents for all hardware and software items are included, as well as all of the Cary marketing documents, and the Cary Technical Institute PowerPoint presentations. The Auto Run program allows you to easily access the main sections of the Cary CD. Please note that Visions Video is no longer supported and BioPoint is no longer sold. Support is limited at this time for existing BioPoint installations. To start the Doors installation, click on the reader icon to install the Doors software. If you would like to review the release notes, click on the View Release Notes link. The Install Shield Wizard verifies your system meets certain minimum requirements before beginning the software installation, and it allows you to progress step-by-step step through the installation process. Click the Next button to begin the installation. You must select the type of software installation. This allows you to add or update the badging software on an existing DOORS installation in order to design and print ID badges. Badging is a licensed paid option to DOORS 32 software, and badging is taught in a separate module. Click the Next button to continue. Choose from the three types of DOORS installations. For a new installation, select the radio button next to New Installation, and then click Next. The software license agreement will appear. This is a text document defining the rights, obligations, and protection for both the user and the manufacturer. You must accept the license agreement to continue the installation. Click Yes to accept the license agreement. Select the language to be used with DOORS. This lists all of the available language translations. Note that all of the text strings within DOORS will be displayed in the selected language, but the program graphics, such as embedded text within the buttons, continue to be displayed in English. Select your language and click Next. The video feature of DOORS is no longer sold nor supported. Click Next to continue. You must enable the badging feature if you are using badging. If enabled but not purchased, the word sample is printed across the face of the badge. Badging is taught in a separate KTI class. Click the Next button. Select the folder to which doors should be installed. The default folder is recommended for new or demo installation. If this is an upgrade installation, it uses a new folder 
but it copies the user information from the existing installation and leaves the existing folder. Once you click the next button, you will see a progress bar appear to let you know how far along the installation is. Once the installation is complete, you must reboot the computer so the program registry information can be recognized by the host computer. Click the Finish button to reboot the computer. It's possible to add your specific dealer information to appear in the Doors About window. In order to add this information, open a text editor program such as Windows Notepad. Enter your information to be displayed on the About screen indoors. Save the dealer information by locating the folder where the doors.exe program file is located. In the file name, type dealer, and make sure the Save As field has text documents selected. Do not include the quotation marks. Then click the Save button to save your dealer information text. You may also add a dealer splash page to the startup sequence. A splash window will show the dealer logo and information prior to the launching of the doors splash page. If you click on the dealer splash page, it will close and go to the doors splash screen. If using a company logo, it must be a Windows bitmap file. Keep the graphic no larger than 400 by 400 pixels and 256 colors with an optimized palette. Save the graphic as a dealer file.bmp in the folder where the doors.exe program file is located. In order to save this dealer file, right click on the door shortcut icon on your desktop and select properties from the list that appears. Locate the target field in the shortcut properties window and at the end of the path line, add the phrase without the quotation marks, space, dash, file dot bmp. To change the default display time from 15 seconds to some other value, at the end of the target line, add the phrase, space, dash, txx, where the x's represent the number of seconds that the dealer splash information will appear on the screen. The value of seconds must be between 1 and 30 seconds. Then click the OK button. That completes Module 1, Door Software Installation.